so we are going to look at another example of adding fractions with unlike denominators. We did so already with, with like denominators, and we're going to look again at adding fractions with unlike denominators. Alright, so in this case, we are going to look at two fractions that have unlike denominators. So we're going to look at adding these two fractions. We have one third plus three eighths. Alright, so we have one third plus three eighths. Now, as you can see, we have unlike denominators, so we can't go ahead and add these fractions, right? So we have to find a way to make the denominators like. One way we can do that, as we discussed before, we can find the LCM of the two denominators and then we make the fractions like. Alright, so we have to first find the LCM of 3 and 8. Remember we looked at LCM already? Let us draw up our divisor table. So we're going to find the LCM first thing of 3 and, and what? 8. Eight. Now we draw up our divisor table. Nothing too fancy. We are trying to just find the LCM of 3 and 8. So we have 3 here and we have 8. Now the steps I gave you to find the LCM was the first start with the smallest prime number. We only use prime number when we end up using the divisor method to find the LCM. Right? So we start with the smallest prime number and check to see if it can go into any of these numbers without leaving a remainder. In this case, which prime number can we use? Uh, we can start with 2. So we start with the smallest prime number. Let us check to see if 2 can go into any of these numbers. Can 2 go into any of these numbers? Yes, sir. Which one? 8. 8. So 2. Now, we didn't use the 2 for the 3, so we are going to have to put the 3 as is. Right? Can 2 go into 8? Yes, sir. How many times? Four times. 4 times. Now, can we use 2 again? Yes, sir. Yes, we can use 2 again. Right? Because 2 can go into 4. So, 2 into 4 goes how many times? 2 times. 2 times. We didn't touch the 3, so put the 3 as is. Can we use 2 again? Yes, yes because yes. there's a 2 there. So 2 into 2 goes one, one time. I remember we are trying to get 1 at the foot of the column, right? We didn't touch it 3, so put it back where, where it is, right? So now, can we use 2 again? No. So we have to move on to 3. Can we use 3? Yes, sir. Yes, because there's a 3 there. So 3 into 3 one goes how many times? One time. One time. Now, so we're going to take these numbers now that we use, the prime numbers that we use, and we're going to multiply them together. Right? So the LCM of 3 and 8 would be 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. And in that case, 2 times 2 is what? 4. 4 2s is? 8 8. And 8 3s is 24. So the LCM of 3 and 8 is 24. Now, so we're going to try to find out what is 1 third when the denominator is 24 and we're going to try to find out what is 3 eighths when the denominator is 24. Now, so we have both fractions right by the fraction bar on both sides we have a denominator of 24 we are doing addition, so put back our plus sign down here. Right? You following so far? Yes, sir. Good. So, we are going to check to see how many times 3 can go into 24. How many times can 3 go into 24? Don't worry about timetables. 3 can go into 24 8 times. We are then going to multiply 1 by that 8. So, 3 into 24 goes 8 times. We multiply by the numerator, right? So 1 times 8 will give us what? 8. 8. So 1 third is actually 8 over 24, right? Over to this side, we're going to check to see how many times 8 can go into 24. How many times can 8 go into 24? 3 times. 3 times. Good. 8 into 24 goes 3 times. 
We are going to multiply this numerator by 3. 3 times 3 is what? 9. 9. So now we have 8 over 24 plus 9 over 24. Right? Now we could also use this to find out which fraction is larger. Right? Now we can go ahead and add our numerators now. So 8 plus 9 is what? 8 plus 9 is what, guys? 8 plus 9 is 17. And what's the denominator? 24. And there you have your addition of fractions using, on, uh, with unlike denominators, using finding the LCM. Yes? So, that's about it.